Had Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to talk about what I believe is a season of deaths. One of my friends talked to me tonight, early, maybe about five in the evening before she had dinner, to let me know that her nephew, 19 years of age, had just passed away. He had some type of an accident, and boom, he's gone. Sudden death, just like that. You know, you could be sitting right there looking at me while you're watching TV. You could have a brain aneurysm, boom, just like that. Now, I'm not trying to be morbid. What I'm trying to do is remind all of us that tomorrow may never come. Just because some of you are very young does not guarantee another day of your life. So I believe it behooves you to ask the Lord to forgive you for your sins. Invite Jesus into your heart. Accept him as your Lord and Savior. Welcome him into every aspect of your life. The ugliest, the dirtiest, the nastiest, the most embarrassing, the most painful memories. Every aspect of your life. And if you end up having tomorrow, next year, and 10 years from now, you will find that God is not only there to forgive you for sin, but he is there to heal the broken hearts. He's there to remove all of your emotional pain and remove all the pain from your ugly memories. He does that kind of thing. He will also enable you to forgive those who have hurt you. And he will heal you physically. You will find there will be times when God will intervene in your life through supernatural uh, protection, supernatural intervention. You know that that was God's hand. So whether you remain awake, or whether you end up asleep. Be in God's hands either way. Ask God to fill you with his Holy Spirit because that's where your change of nature will come. You won't have to struggle so with sin when you have the power within you to overcome it. God stacks the deck in your favor. Go for it. Take the plunge. I guarantee you. If you experience God the way I think you're going to experience him, you will never want to turn back. God bless you.